Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are looking at the Citadel Iron Farm. And uh, we have been retrofitting and redesigning the bottom of this for the last couple of uh, streams. And we're going to continue on with that today. See if we can't design the top. Uh, I want to see what the pillars are going to be made out of. And uh, I think we have to at least replace one of these um, scaffolding pieces. Because of course the moment we start playing around with different blocks down here... Uh, these all fall down. So I want to at least get an idea on how tall I want these stone pillars to be before they change into something else. And I do want to mess around with the idea of moving the pillars back here uh, in by one and seeing what that might look like. So uh, first things first, my inventory is an absolute mess. So we need to kill that. Mind Trip Media, thank you ever so much for the 100 bits to kick off the stream. Noticed a couple of people hanging out in the background, like Sunk Block Fallacy is lurking nearby. Super fast, Obu, Blast Jordan, good to see you. Sweet Sandy, of course, hello. Uh, all right, let's just put all the things back. I will get more out as I need over the day. Does anybody know how to use the RP data pack that's on Hermitcraft? I've been looking for information on it. I can't seem to find the right commands, but we have the ability to like rename sticks and things with MBT data to change the textures for custom models and stuff. And I just, I want to do it for some of my shulker boxes and I just have not been able to really figure it out the best way to go about it. Anything that has an item on it looks good, but it's anything that has blocks in it, uh, and I don't have items for that stuff. It's a little bit, a little bit different. Uh, that goes in there. Some of this stuff I'm gonna have to get right back out, but that's fine. Okay. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you. The real pickle, welcome back. So to recap, we've moved the iron farm up there. We've condensed it a little bit and moved the golem spawning platform a little bit closer to, uh, to the zombies and the villagers so that we can encase this. And this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half blocks. So if we do something that's about a nine block design, we will probably be able to uh, to work on this. Oh, I'm missing some glass. I do think I want to keep the green. I don't, I don't think we need to completely remove it because we've got green glass happening over here. I like the green and the orange and I think basically what I want to do is We'll probably work on this this side here and figure out like about how high do I want this stone part to go before it changes into logs. I'd imagine one, two, three, probably four, five plus a block. All right, let's take down the front scaffolding bits. Can't wait to make this place look a lot nicer. I get wrapped up in all the functionality, but then now that it's done, I'm quite happy to uh, to make it look a lot nicer. So my big beef before was that this was very much the same color. It stands out a little bit now that we've got the black nether brick in there. 
but I really want to try to figure out what colors we can make these things. One idea I had was to go back to like andesite. I guess we could use walls if we have that too, couldn't we? Uh... So we could try this. Probably going to be too light. Maybe too light or too shiny. Try two different textures. Uh, that's going to blend into the mountain behind it. That's no good. And it doesn't feel like it's part of the same structure. Hmm. At the end of the stream yesterday, we were messing around with tough. The problem with the tough is that I don't like the column blocks for this particular build. I mean, it looks good on its own. Uh, we do have some of those. Try that. I just don't know if this is going to feel like it fits. I think it's got polished stairs. I think tough is just not going to be quite what we want. I might have to do a combination of tough and some darker bricks. I wonder what it would look like if we brought the nether bricks out here at this level. That sort of helps a little bit. Deep slate and basalt looks nicer. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Maybe to keep it from looking so busy, I could go with cobbled deep slate.
Now oh, that's even busier. I do like the basalt, so maybe I have to figure out. I don't know. Maybe the basalt is the is the key here. I also need to go get some end rods and try to make some um what do you call it copper bulbs Actually, let's put what will be on top of that. Let's see if we can make this work. Hmm, we might have to go with something that adds a little bit more bulk or depth or something to that. It doesn't quite look... That transition doesn't look like it works. We'll have to figure out a way to add something there. And I don't know if I want this to be clear. I kind of think we could do an entire column of light. But this is where I think the copper the copper bulbs are going to come in. But this we could also go switch to glass up here. Right? And then we could have glass panes down here. Oh, that's going to connect to the block behind it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I wanted to make this bigger, so maybe that's the thing. Maybe this ends up being out here. That's pretty good. I don't know about this side. We'd have to maybe decide on something else. That's not bad. Feels kind of sturdy. And then maybe up here we could go out a bit. We don't have any trapdoors. I could maybe use walls? That might work. Yeah, if we did that around the whole thing, that could be pretty good. We might want to change 
the background there to be basalt. And I might want to do something different down here. Like maybe we have this look like it continues down into the ground, right? Yeah, as if there's heat or something coming up from below. I, I kind of like that. I think maybe the, the longer basalt is what I needed for the color separation, or I guess the tone separation because it's all gray. What do I have? A bit more basalt there. So I can do this. Hmm. I wonder if we need to use a different color wall to have it look more like it's in shadow. Yeah, that's better. And then maybe we'll continue that part up. So it goes behind the wall or we just not have a wall here. And go with uh, stairs. Inventory is almost full again. No, the solid, I think the solid look was better. Oh, I don't have any more slabs. Hey, the mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going? Oh, did I say, did I say end rods? I meant blaze rods. Thank you for the copper bulb. <laughs> What's your recommendation on how to build age into your builds? Like I have a castle and I'm trying to make it look old and ruined. Texture. Texture and a lot of um, vegetation overgrowth will probably get you pretty far in that in that realm. You can check out some of the VODs on Joel Dug and VODs on YouTube and you'll see a lot of, a lot of that in what I do. Uh, do I have... Don't. I'll try this. Hmm. See, it looks good from the front, but I don't know if it looks good from the side. I think it gets a little bit too beefy. Hmm. Wonder if we could maybe add some like pipes or tubes or something to this. That could be interesting. So we could fill this space up with like a tube. Do I have copper boxes? You are waxed, that'll do.
I guess it's not big enough to really show the curve of a of a pipe. That sort of looks like what I want it to look like. Uh, the Iron Farm revamp, Elkhorn is going pretty well. We're just kind of going through the the idea phase. That could look really cool. You know, that could really look, really look fun. Especially if we maybe utilized it down here too. I like that idea. And depending on how we wanted to decorate it, we could also do. Don't have any trapdoors, but the recipe for those have changed, I think. Expensive. I do kind of like that though. I might want to have it go one block higher, maybe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. What do we think of the copper tubing? And then I could have that curve around here. A bit futuristic maybe yeah i've gone kind of going for more of a steampunky look i mean i guess we've got this kind of log flume thing i can't i think the thing is that once we get the logs going at the top it'll have that combination i do like that though
No, I think I like it better the other way. Not so sure about that. Maybe... Maybe what we need to do is have some sort of copper attachment up there. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Hold on. Whoa. Nope. Stop it. Well, that was pointless. Should be a lot easier to land on scaffolding. Yeah, the copper trap doors and the pipes look good too, I agree. I know I could break these down from below, but this way I pick them up kind of as I go. That would be a nice data pack for scaffolding to um, have them all drop in a nice straight line on your head. I do like this freeform building on stream. I do find it really fun. Plus, I think it's nice to have the opportunity to share the ideas as they flow. A lot of people have questions about, like, where do I come up with my ideas? And a lot of it is just trial and error. That goes there. And then... How are we going to do this? So yeah, I've got to figure out how to do the transition from the basalt to the wood. And I'm thinking that maybe if I raise that copper insertion point, we can run copper trap doors around there or something. And that might be the easiest way to do it. So we're going to try the same thing on this side. Because we decided that this is the, I guess, the width that we want this stuff. I might change this a little bit later too. Well, let's try something different on this side just to see if it matters. It's one of the nice things about doing symmetrical builds. Plus we could introduce some asymmetry to it. Having the pipes go up at different angles could be fun too.
Reminds me of my time on the realm of Aston. Building such a huge tree in the air was a real pain. Be careful not to die here. Oh, that's going to bug me. We're going to have to fix those. And this is why I have netherite boots on all the time. Ankle's still working? No. Years ago, Sandy. Years ago they were gone. I don't like where this bed is. I think I should just move it out here. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if I'd go right in from the bottom. Maybe we have to do it a little bit higher. But over here, one of the things we could do... So it has to have that space. We could hmm. have it go lower. Oh, that kind of ruins the shape of the of the uh, furnace window. So maybe we do have to make it symmetrical. Or we could have it come up from the top. We could have it come up from the top, maybe. So here's where I was thinking we could probably change it up and use kind of the copper to help split the two different materials between the basalt, polished basalt, excuse me. I think it goes one higher. <sighs> Yay, scaffolding. Just have to add a block there so you function like you should. I'm short one, really. Jay Crest, hello, hello. We are indeed having a good week. So this is where it makes the switch, pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, 
So if that's the case, we could go up a little bit higher. And go in here. that and then I guess we'd have to use trapdoors I don't like that that's visible through the bottom of the lip of the, the thing either. Right there. I'm not sure we're going to use shroom, shroom lights, you know, like now that I see them all stacked on top of each other, I'm wondering if lava flowing down would be better. Yeah, that, I have to switch that out to something else. You could sort of just fake it like that, or I could change the bottom there. Need more trapdoors. And I need more wax. How do you make honeycomb? Oh, do I? You can't go the other way? Oh, that sucks. Uh, hmm. I will have to figure that out. We can go get more from Alistair's bee farm, I think. Don't think he would mind. This is a community farm. <laughs> he gets his iron from here, I think. Valdair, hello. How you been? Hope you're having a good day. So this may be... How do we want to handle that? Probably a full block. Uh, that's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. It's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. For that to really work, I think we'd need a larger scale. Like we'd have to have like a full block, like a three by one block kind of band around the whole thing. I think it'd have to work a lot larger. Mental note, I think it'll still work eventually. Um, I like the pipes. We just have to come up with a different way of transitioning from one texture to the other.
And the inventory is full. I think that should go up higher. The glass should probably go through all the way. And then... Don't know whether we should just do the same thing. Now that's too thick now. So block and a half is the right is the right size. I do prefer the left. I guess, are we going to do orange the whole way up? Probably. I've got to get it from the bees, yeah. That would be a good crafting recipe just for convenience to have honeycomb and honey blocks or blocks of honeycomb be able to be packed and unpacked we've got that for nether ward on the server and string and wool i think So I think I prefer the bottom on the left, as far as the design goes. And I prefer the walls, but I just, I just don't know how we handle this stuff up here. Whoops. Yeah, I really don't like it coming over the side like that. So we're going to have to figure out how to make that transition. Maybe maybe that's the thing on the side is that we'll use the copper here. To do the transition.
That, you know what? That might work. Sort of looks like it latches right onto the side. We could probably let some of them oxidize if we wanted to. I guess that's the other drawback too, is that we can't um, we can't really oxidize or, or like make oxidized trapdoors. You have to collect those, I guess. That's why it'd be a really good idea to find a um, a trial chamber and destroy it. That's gonna be another good break for me from Westdale is just finding finding something like that and taking it down. Still not crazy about the walls. I think we might have to go back to stairs and stuff. I do like the bottom better over here, though, so let's switch that back. The only problem with this pipe is that it hides that really cool basalt part there. So I'm going to want to switch that a little bit, I think. We'll have to raise that. I don't want to make them completely symmetrical. So maybe this one only goes up by a block. I do like the two pipes. I kind of want to make this one come up a little bit higher. Yeah. We could still do the same thing. Do I have a bucket of lava with me? I don't, but I can get one. Let's get three. Actually, let's go get um, some honeycomb as well. Again, I'm sure Alistair won't mind. Take care, real pickle. Have a good one. Let's go this way. So Alistair's Avalon build on the server has got a bee farm in it. I'm sure just a stack will be fine. It is really cool to see overworld blocks in the nether. I always find it really interesting. And if memory serves, the bee farm is over this way. Alistair's done a lot of work around here. Yay. Thank you, Alistair. Obviously, as much iron as you need is being produced.
I like the garden. And what else do I need? Lava, right. We have a lava road. A place where we go in the nether to get lava from a pretty easy source. It is marked. Oh, blaze rods. Thank you, yes. Marked right there. Follow the, the buckets. Although, I think this one is missing. I think this probably had a bucket on it, and then it got... From the looks of it, I would say, yeah, it got blasted by a ghast. So the bucket sign is gone. And blaze rods, blaze rods, blaze rods. We might have some in the furnace array. Or we'll go down to the blaze farm, which I mean, it won't have any, we'd have to run it. Maybe I'll run the blaze farm on my, on my break, but I should go back and check my inner chest though. Whoa, how did you get in here? You are not supposed to be in here at all. That is weird. Wonder where that guy spawned in at. Blaze rods, if we had any, they would be in the furnace. Yep. So let's just grab, these are probably all nice and even, aren't they? Yeah, 54, 53. I wonder if there's any. No, do I have any over here? No, oh, there's end rods if I needed them. Uh, blaze powder. Oh, you know what? I might have some in my cottage in Dartmouth Meadows. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being fantastic. I really appreciate the mod help. And thank you for the break reminder, yes. We shall address that too. Uh, where would I keep blaze rods? Blaze powder, that's my crafting chest for potions. So my guess is that there are no blaze rods in here, so we'll... Try the barn? <laughs> it's like whack-a-mole some days in chat, unfortunately. I don't understand. I'm assuming they're all bots. No human thinks that they can actually get away with that. There's just there's just no way that I refuse to think that humans are that dumb. Uh is that a shulker box? Oh yeah. We are not seeing any blaze rods. That's wild. There might be some at the potion factory, but I doubt it.
I didn't see any in my ender chest. I'll double check. Mm, this way. Oh, you know, there might be some blaze rods at the Wither Skeleton Farm, too. There's another box. Nothing in there. Nope, 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 nope. should leave these buckets here seeing as they don't stack all right we need to check the wither skeleton farm well no first we'll check the potion brewing stations Maccas might have some extra stuff there. It's really fun when you really get your nether weather your uh, nether network sorted out. It's a hard thing to say fast. But uh, man, it makes getting around a lot easier. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, there's no spare chest here. So yeah, Wither Skeleton Farm would be the next closest. Right, won't take but a second. And it is the other way. I would like to make the roads look a lot nicer, but unfortunately they... Um, oh, I should check my swamp farm. Um, if we make the roads look nice and open to the air, then the gas just blow the crap out of them. So we're stuck with cobblestone because it's cheap and blast resistant. I might have some end rods, or not end rods, blaze rods here. Maybe, 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 maybe. This place could use some crafters, that's for sure. Blaze rods. That's a no, I'm surprised. Copper bubble will be expensive. Three blocks of copper and one blaze rod? That's fine. I've got lots of copper. Am I cooking with blaze rods in here? Not cooking with anything in here. This thing doesn't work anymore. So this is what I was thinking of when I was thinking about putting pipes on the iron farm. We have some cool kind of glass gas pipes and stuff in here, which I thought were kind of fun. Uh Blaze rods. <laughs> of course, there's nothing. All right. Well, I'll run the blaze farm while we're on break. Then that'll be be the the task. I'm so surprised I have no blaze rods. I know I can grab from the furnaces in the in the super smelter, but they're all evenly distributed, and I would hate to mess that up. This was working i would just kill some blaze right here uh there is i've got a blaze farm here don't i hold on now i have a second blaze farm looky looky i forgot i had this 
I'm assuming it still works. Oh, you are not supposed to be here. Don't know where you came from. Does this still work? If it works, I'm gonna have to block myself in here. Sounds like it works. I'm assuming that's for drops and that's for your stuff in case you die. Can't tell if it's working. Do I risk it? Do I wait here for the six minutes to see if they come down here? Let me just break this out so I can send the camera out. They are spawning and they are not necessarily dropping. Oh, there we go. I'm going to hit the pig one, though. I'm not sure whether it can be better to use this farm or the other one. This farm might be very broken. Welcome in, Swagnilla Ice 85. Appreciate the raid. What were you up to on stream today? Yeah, this is not working the way that I thought it was going to. They seem to be not going down the trapdoor traps. There's supposed to be a, the idea of like all these solid blocks or something that they try to path to. But I must have done this incorrectly. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be worth it. So we will go to the other one. The only thing about this black nether brick, it is really hard to see. Enchanted gear and went to the nether to find warped stem. Needed for the mine colonies builder huts. Upgrade to level 3. So it sounds like you're playing a modded version of Minecraft. And I need to go west. I'm not sure the last time I was at the Blaze Farm on stream. I know I've done it before. Custom mod pack. It's in beta. Very cool. I've been trying to figure out whether I want to learn how to make a mod pack. I want to make some furniture for Minecraft. Keep it very, very vanilla inspired. But I just... Tables and chairs for modern cities and tables and chairs for medieval stuff. I think would be... Really nice data, or not data pack, and really nice mod to have. It's this way. Thanks, Blast Jordan. Appreciate you being here. Hope you had a fantastic time. Now, I think there's a switch I have to turn on in here. Yes, it's down below. So this is another double blaze spawner, but this one works. I've definitely used this in the last year at some point. Away is on. Towards you is off. On. Towards you is on. Okay. So there's squishers up there that squish the blaze. You hear them going. And we stand right here. So that one's activated, and that one's activated, and then that chamber down there should fill up with blaze over the next few minutes. Uh, if you're new to the stream, especially if you came in with that Swagnilla Ice Raid, then uh, hang out for a little bit. I do take a break once an hour. I'm a little bit behind. 
So I'm going to take uh, five or six minutes and I will be right back.
one thing that I forgot to bring is a sword. Hopefully there's a sword downstairs. And hopefully I left my toolbox in my ender chest. Well, the blaze farm works. Uh, is there an ender chest? There is. Oh, good. Uh, none of that. There's a sword here. Looting, no sweeping edge. That's going to take forever. Uh, what about the battle box? Just a diamond sword. Do I have any arrows? I think my sword is in my other shulker box. That sucks, because these guys are all going to despawn if I leave. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, looks like we go about this the slow way. Oh no, I've got arrows there. Power 2. And infinity. Power 5, that'll work. So this will take a little bit, but essentially there's hoppers underneath all of these guys. Not the most efficient build. <laughs> there's a lot going on, uh, but they all point down into this chest out here. It's a bit too big, the, the chamber. I wonder if the bow is faster. Yeah. Yeah, if I have any blaze heads, I know where to find them, definitely. I should repair some stuff too. This took forever to build. We had to destroy part of a fortress. I had to clean out all these blocks. There's not a lot of redstone, but it's all based on spawning and pathing mechanics. And obviously it works very well. The other farm that we sh showed a few minutes ago is the same sort of design principle, but I obviously screwed up and it does not work the way that it should. The only thing with the bow, of course, is that you don't get any kind of looting off of it. So what really should happen here at the farm, there should be like a looting sword on the wall somewhere. That would be the best way to do this. I think that's going to be plenty. I don't think we really need to waste our time. Oh, that doesn't go in there. It goes in here. Put those back. So this was, I think, a Nembon design? So what happens is the blaze are spawning inside of those boxes. But then there's this is solid. This is nothing but solid blocks. And so this gives them several thousand blocks to path towards. And they can't path towards anything else out here because we've cleared it all out. So they all funnel towards the corner. And then they push themselves in. Uh, and then um, they're mad at me right now. That's why they're flying up. But down in here, they can't see me. Uh, and so they, um, they flow down into the chambers. If Mr. Crayfish updates his newest furniture pack, it will be working for your modern cities. Yeah, I've looked at Mr. Crayfish's pack, and it's not always my favorite thing. 
but I need to take a closer look at it. It's on my list. I think the re- one of the reasons why it's not on my current list is because, as you said, it's not updated. And I'm looking to find a mod pack that will stay updated. I, I find that I don't like being a slave to when people decide to update their mods. Never thought there could have been some blazes down in the other farm, too. All this just for some copper bulbs. Missing a stair. And I don't even know if we're going to be able to use them. Because they may not look good. Copper grates, copper bulbs, redstone, okay. I don't want 20. Oh, I get four at a time. That's not bad. That should be good for now. I'll probably leave this in here. That makes sense. And then we need a redstone update. So one thing I thought would be neat is if we used copper bulbs in here. It might look too industrial. What's the right thing for this probably a hoe I guess I love that you can turn these on and they'll stay on. That's not bad. This looks very technical though. It's the only thing. They are a really neat block. I wonder what they look like with shroom lights. Interesting. Hmm. Wonder how it would look when it oxidizes more? Yeah, that's a good call. We'll leave it there. I mean, they're not going to oxidize very fast because they're all right next to each other, but we'll leave it in there for now. Uh, I think I need to change this. That has to start higher, I guess. Oh, no, wait, that has to be a full block, doesn't it? Ah, 
higher or lower? I don't do it lower. I actually don't mind it right there. I guess if I change this. I can change this. And then I can raise this up. Breaks up the lip, though. Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? Because then we're going to see this from over here. Although, I guess, yeah. And see through there. I mean, we can change that to a stair instead. But it's not going to quite look the same. Hmm. I don't want to have them come out the same height. Because what I was thinking about doing here is have this um, do this here. So they'll have the same sort of function to cover up the transition. But they'll be asymmetrical. I think that looks okay. It's a little shiny, but I'm not sure what else we could do with it. I could replace them with regular copper and see if they oxidize a bit and see if that helps. Maybe that's the thing to do. Might help them blend in with the green a little bit. One step or maybe two, yeah. Or we could have like a weathered copper block with an oxidized trapdoor on top of it. So you still get like the hit of the copper, but then underneath it would be a little bit less shiny. I don't know if I have any. Exposed, waxed, weathered, and wax oxidized. So I do have a couple of exposed. We could throw in there to see. Hmm, I don't know. If anything, it might be better to have that as like the block in between. What I like about the acacia is that the acacia has a direction. Yeah, that's not quite what I want. I think it's maybe the trapdoors we have to wait for. Not crazy about 
that. But if I if I change this one to oh no, that's gonna change there. Yeah. A little stuck. I guess we might as well finish the job here. How did I do this? They face in, right. I mean, at some point, we might not even need the green shoot. Like, we might be able to remove the whole shoot and just have the golems fall directly into, a like, the open top of this thing, right? That could be fun. Because it would be like a 5x5 five five hole. Right, I need to move some stuff down here too. Whoops. don't know about the copper bulbs. I think that might be a no for me. I think I like that better lower. I know I, I don't like that it covers that up, but... it works better. I like making the uh, the top symmetrical. Oh, right, I forget about the side part. We should do that over here, too. Maybe because of this, maybe we should have this come out the back here. Maybe something like that seems redundant, but yeah, I think what I want to try over here is some flowing lava. Oops. 
I should just go down in the hole. And I want to tuck it in behind. So the source should be, I guess, at that level. Of course, I don't have any more glass. Don't need that. That's probably going to be what I want because we've got the lava over here that you can see flowing. And I like that part of it. I also want to incorporate the honey blocks. Although honey blocks, unfortunately, with um, sodium, they display kind of funny. Like you don't get to see the other side of them. but yet they show the bottom part like it's it's a really strange display i'm not sure whether that's my texture pack or what i can't remember whether i have vanilla tweaks clear honey in there or, or whether i don't know but there's something funky going on i need to check my texture pack to see if there's any honey changes lava adds movement too yeah you're very right you're very right lava just feels very early Minecraft decorations, though. It doesn't feel very inventive. No, I know it's not vanilla, but I don't know whether it's sodium that's causing it or whether it's a vanilla tweaks texture pack. I need to look. The one thing I have not updated outside of the version number is my texture pack. So I like the copper things. I think the copper things are fun. Copper pipes. Um, the lava just feels so boring. I do like that. I guess I could try the honey blocks. I could try having like lava and stuff. I don't know. The other thing we could try would be magma blocks. Man, I've got a lot of stuff. Did I put glass in the back of this yet? No. Smart man. Oh, you know what? I'm getting the hoe. I'm going to be messing around with those. We're going to use the right tool. Way less painful. So they'll have a little bit of animation to them. I just don't like the color of the lava, weirdly. I think that's the, the shroom lights are much brighter. That's not bad, though. Maybe we can do a little bit of both. A little bit of shroom light. A little bit of magma. I 
wonder if we can do all of them together. remember what that was. Uh, so do that there. Maybe. I'm probably getting a little bit too complicated. It's not terrible. Uh, can you lava log copper grates? That is a really good question. I don't know. Let's find out. Probably no. Can you, you can't, can you lava log stairs? I don't think you can do that stuff. I don't think that works the same. I don't remember the recipe for grates. It's blocks? Oh wow. My guess is no. I could put copper trapdoors here. Mm. No, too many trapdoors. I'm probably going to lose that trapdoor. I think I prefer the magma. I don't think I like the lava though. Oh, I don't have the extra bucket. Yeah, I think it would be nice if they allowed us to do that with lava as well. Wasn't fast enough. Yeah, it's just not a big enough scale to do like a gradient. I don't think there's anything in between those that would work either. I 
Yeah, they do sort of have the same pattern. They're very, very similar. And shroom lights are not animated, but there is an animation to the magma blocks, which gives it some movement. I would change that to magma, probably. It might be okay with just the one. Because the thing is, like, the shroom light is going to give a better light. So if we, if we keep one at the top there or maybe two it sort of looks like it's cooling down you know Maybe I've got it backwards. Maybe we have to have the shroom lights on the bottom. But I know I don't like the lava, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, put that back there. This thing feels like it's cranking out a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So it's like a block and a half at the bottom, maybe. Hmm. What well, would be neat if I could swing it. Maybe instead of glass, we could do a campfire. really need to get this inventory sorted out here. Uh, I need all of those. I don't need those, I don't think. Out of room again. Glowstone is also kind of yellow. Yeah, it's really old school, though. I don't think it really goes. I forgot that those hurt you. Yeah, it's very brown. I think I like that better than the glass. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shaders are a bit much, aren't they? Maybe we just go to one shroom block. I like the animation of the, of the campfire. Ah, 
That's hard. It's so bright. There's just such a high contrast. Maybe what I can do is replace this block. So we still get the super bright part at the bottom. I think that's probably the solution. Doesn't do much without the shaders, unfortunately. I thought that magma blocks were supposed to take on the light level of the thing next to them. Maybe I'm wrong. Orange or yellow terracotta. Uh, I don't think they really match up. Uh, they're kind of dull. They're really not saturated very much. And then concrete is probably way too bright. Yeah, completely different. I guess orange concrete would probably be okay. But I don't have any block form. And orange terracotta next to magma block I don't think works either. It might. Yeah, just it's so smooth. Okay, well, I think we'll do the campfire thing over here, too. How far down was that? Two blocks. I think that's where it was, right? There is one, two, and at the third. So, yeah. Whoops. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. How far does that go? Oh, 
Oh, if we do that, then the wall takes on a better shape. I like that. It's a little bit much. It's Dragon Axe. Hello, welcome in. Some idea it's it's perfect in your mind, but then it doesn't work when you try them out. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's the great thing about Minecraft. I mean, it's got a built-in undo button. Place a block, break a block, and just give it a go. Like, if you're not sure how it's going to look, give it a try. I obviously did not wax that. I knew I had another one. Do we think the campfires are too busy? some blocks there. Hmm. I should move some of this glass to see how far because we could put I don't think I want to have it go all the way up but we could put a, a what do you call it a hay bale. Oh they just stopped there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Mm. Yeah, not there. That works. So then we just have to figure out how to transition on the outside, which of course does not look very good. Maybe we can do the same thing on the outside? Not great. Maybe those are the ones we have to use stairs on. That or I use trapdoors? I can't imagine that's going to work very well.
I know right where to put that. I wonder if I've accidentally, I probably chopped that off myself when I was trying to kill those magma cubes. It's probably me. Would be fun to see how far they go up with hay under it? Yeah, we'll have to give that a go. When in doubt, try trapdoors. It's not great. I wonder if it's going to be worth actually turning these top two layers into copper. To give like a band, maybe? So what I'm thinking, if I have enough copper. I don't know if it's going to work with the glass, but try this. Hard to see at night. Mm, no. That does not have the desired effect either. A single one might. Maybe not two, but just one, one row. Nope, that was close. No, I don't think copper trapdoors would look good. It's not it was the sh it was more the geometry of it, not the color. This might look okay. Mod, that forgot to mod. We've passed hour two. We have indeed. Wow, you're right. I do need to take another short break. Oh, you can't see it from down here. That doesn't look terrible, though. It sort of looks like it sort of like wraps around a little bit. Uh... Maybe I was on the right track. It def it definitely needs the dark. Like it needs something to go but like darker. Cuz if you look at this like there's not that much difference in t in tone between the copper, the dark oak and the smooth basalt. So adding the darker tile helps the transition a bit. And this sort of, because it's a much lighter, well, I guess I guess they're not that similar, but this and this are very similar. It's, it's the copper that helps bring it forward. I just think that trap doors would be too many trap doors. And then on the side, that actually looks all right. And we could try a couple of trap doors there. I could also go with um, tile slabs, 
because those are on the top block. We can go with a double slab there to make that even smaller. Now all of a sudden I'm not liking this down here. It feels very samey. I wonder if we could switch this up a little bit. That's a little bit better. Maybe this could even go farther down. Nope. Sometimes I really wish we had trap doors in these. Whoops. That was a mistake. Uh, that goes there. This can actually be black nether brick. Yes. Sort of. Anyway, I'm going to take that break. Always a good thing to stay on top of if you're streaming for a few hours. Good chance to grab a cup of coffee, grab a drink, uh, maybe even grab a friend to let them know that we're streaming. I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Well, <clears throat> I'm happy at least with the bottom part of this. So I think we can continue this around and uh, make sure it all looks good. I'm going to grab a couple more trap doors up here just to kind of see what else I can do. What do I not need? Uh, yellow concrete. Thank you, Sandy. That is unnerving. I guess I'd never noticed because I never really spend that much time here. Normally you're just here to grab some some stuff and go. You know, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. And then one more test on the front. I want to see what it looks like if we just do this. Oh, that's the wrong texture. Tiles? Do I have tiles? Tile stairs? No. I find sometimes with Minecraft, simple is better. I don't know, that sort of looks like it's sticking out. Not really attached. I'll probably have to let this sit with me for a bit. I think I like the one on the right better. Alright, let's finish the bottom. Maybe stairs? Yeah, I think you and I, Sandy, had the same, same thought. Alright, this is going to be tricky because I don't remember how I did this. I also have to think about where this is going to go. So there are two stairs and four stairs underneath that. And that goes like this. Like that. And this is get replaced. Like that. And these are obviously going to be the salt. If they stay in this position, we might actually move these. that is what is that the stair going sideways oh glass right 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 that 
will have to be a quick replacement. That'll fill in the hole. And then glass goes here. And then that, I think. It'd be kind of cool to have this on both sides because then when you're coming out of here, you'll be able to see see both, like see a window at the back too. I wonder whether I should move the nether portal. Although I guess if we do, if I move the nether portal here, I might have to move it in the end as well. Or not in the end, in the nether. It would be cool if you came right down the stairs and you were like faced with this. Although I guess it's going to be more convenient. This is going to be really hard. We're going to have to move it. The exit is going to have to move because it's going to be right here in the way. So we might have to come up with a solution to go around somehow. Or this room might have to get shorter. We might have to have this, the, the, the door might have to be here. Uh, and so this is slab and then full block and then slabs. I don't think I have Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this feels a little excessive. Is that in the right spot? Yeah. Right, and we change that on the front. That's how I did it, right? Yep, and then slabs out in front. And what did I do there? Slabs. And then there is full block. Oh, that's a stair. Uh, I think the full block looks better. Whoops. Any other portals close to this pair? Uh, no. Well, not on this side. On the other side, yeah. But not on this side. That's pretty good. I don't still not sure about those. Oh, is that in the wrong spot? Yeah. 
No, wait a minute. Just on the inside. This is why I think I want to move these in. It's hard to decide though. And it might be time to move this too. I think it would be better to have this accessed inside here. Temporarily, at least. That works. What is going on? Should work if I move the overworld portal, yeah. It might be a good opportunity to redesign some of this. I don't really want to get into like, I really, I kind of like this. I don't think I really want to change this too much. So it might be more about moving like all of this to here, right? And then having the door be over there. I was like, somebody just opened that, th opened the door. <laughs> okay. Ah, my water got turned. But there's still a source. I'm going to have to rethink that trap. I think it's going to have to change a bit. I wonder if we're still getting items. No, so it's burning items. Okay. Definitely need to fix that then. It's either burning items or they're stacking up where I can't see them. I can't see what's going on. Oh, he's standing on the block. That's what's happening. Standing on the block. Okay. I need to... Switch up. Uh, I need a sign... Where that block is, I think.
Yeah, so now he's standing lower. But then the items don't go anywhere. Right, 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 right. I remember this now. Yeah, now the water doesn't flow. Um, I guess we just have to drop the water. I don't want to drop the golems because I kind of like the fact that the fire from their head shows up. Well, I don't know if you can really see it above here. Probably not. Yeah, I have to put the sign back higher up, I know. I was hoping to keep... Yeah, you really can't see it. I was hoping to keep the double the double lava. I, I really don't like the way that sodium renders glass. I really wish I could figure out how to fix that. Does anybody know if there's a setting in sodium that I can turn off for that? No, it's not cooking iron. The iron is just not um, being washed away. Uh, a sign in the front. Well, I could just replace the sign here. That should solve the problem. Oh, but I gotta replace that. Could get rid of that sign. Oh, I just replaced the water source, I think. Crap. So weirdly, the water source is here. Like in that block because it was all hidden before uh how does this go this goes glass there those and then slabs And then one goes across the bottom there. Those ones, right. So really I can put what's behind that and the other ones. It's just more of these. The, the, the dark ones, okay. So I could put these along here. Weirdly, the water doesn't put the golem out, I guess, because he's just constantly taking damage. So you can see the signs from back here, which, I mean, it's not the end of the world because it's you can't see them from the front. But it does look weirdly really weird from the side, so that's why I wanted to try and lower that. So I think... That's a temporary fix. Uh, I would like to revisit this. This could also be because there's green glass back there too. At some point I have to turn this off. Like I have to, I have to create like a platform, catch the golems and get rid of the lava and go in there and start to rework things. It's not the best collection system. I think it could be a lot tidier. Right, that goes there, that goes there. And then that way.
And do I like it like that or do I prefer it having the grass? This needs to be the salt. Could put lava in between with the golem dying on a campfire. Uh, does the? I guess it doesn't really matter because the golems are out of the spawning area, so it doesn't matter how fast the golems are dying. I think the lava was the choice just because it was the fastest, but that was an older farm design. Yeah, change how the change how the golem dies, and that could be that could be good too. I could, because you can't really see the flames out the top, I could just lower the whole thing. Keep the same mechanic, but just lower the whole thing. I don't, I feel like I've missed glass in here. Yeah, that's green glass. a little bit better we'll eventually get rid of all the the stuff in there it's difficult with the lava in there right now it might actually be worth it to bring the glass all the way up to here i sort of like the depth but it might be worth it to have the lava be where the glass is for looks and then have um i'm pressing the wrong button here and then have glass up here. Right? And then have the lava cover up that part. Although I kind of like the depth. That's actually not bad. Maybe what we could do, instead of having glass here, we could have this come out farther. Yeah. We could even replace that. Uh, well, no, because I want to see it from the outside. Yeah, I like seeing it there. The problem with the golem dying on the campfire is that then I have to use some other way of collecting it. I can't use water, right? Because right now, what's convenient about this is that the drops come out from underneath the golem. Alright, I think this is wrong. slowly getting a handle on this design. Right, so let's just get rid of this for now. We'll put this in the way that it's supposed to be. And then think about how we want to attach it. So 
So I want to try to make it different. So I don't want to put it into the same spot that we did over here. So here it's on the front side. And it's on the ground. And on the other side, maybe we can have it come out somewhere else. Like what if we had it come out higher? Maybe that's all we need, you know, like maybe that's not crazy about that tangent, but that's a little simpler. I don't want something sneaking around here because of course we want to have access to the, the moss farm. Dad from Bear subscribing at tier one for 24 months, two years today from Dad from Bear. That's amazing. Thank you so much. 24 months. Wow. Uh, what if, switch this around. That doesn't look very good. Oops, wrong way. That actually looks all right. I think that's okay for now. Very simple, but very effective. We could put a couple of trapdoors on that. I think that's pretty good. Just to make sure the stuff behind it is correct. Okay, so that's the bottom part sculpted in the round. Now I just need to do more with this basalt stuff. Now this one, I was thinking about moving this a block to the right here and seeing what that might look like. So it would put, it would put the two pillars that are gonna go in the back it would put them closer together if I move that in by one. It would mean that that gap wouldn't be there. But that might not be a big deal if we remove that entirely. Because we could just have the golems free fall, right? They get lined up up here through a deep enough hole that I don't think they're going to be landing elsewhere I don't think they drift keep the glass don't need the lava right now
What's the velocity of an unladen golem? That I don't know. That I don't know. I never thought about the other kind of assault. I don't know why that never even occurred to me. Yeah, I like the other one better. Surprising I never tried this, though. So let's just see what this would look like. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I move this? No, I didn't. We're going to try this back here and see what it looks like. And then we had the copper, which I didn't bring enough of. I think I might like that. We'll try the other one as well. I think that could be I like the the angle there. But we'll do we'll do both. We'll see what both look like. Um thanks accident. We need more of this. Definitely feeling the pinch back here. Yeah, I want it to look non-symmetrical. That's the whole idea. And you're right, Sandy. Yeah, it'll leave a little bit more room behind it as well. I'm not sure if we're going to do glass the whole way up. I kind of want to have something in there. So I'm going to go up another little bit. Let's get... Another stack of glass, or half stack of glass, I guess. And I've got that. I'm going to say it was six. That's four, two, I didn't bring the copper.
Yeah, we're definitely going to have to landscape around here a little bit. Hello, I'm cool. Welcome in. You'll have to prove it. This is just kind of a, a rough idea. I think I like the one staggered. Um, I know we lose the hole, but like I said, that might not be a thing if we remove that green pillar as, as well. The green pillar might be a good way to tie it together though and tie it into this green design here. I kind of want this to be these two to match. So they're on the same axis. So I sort of want this to feel similar. And right now we've got a lot of brown and orange going on. We might be able to change. This might be better as a green glass going up. Uh, thanks, hello. Um, well, the box is not going to be floating. The box is going to be supported by these four pillars, right? These are going to connect up to the top. The, well, the front two aren't moving, so we can we can put the front two in, at least on the on the front part here. Maybe that'll be a good way to kind of get some, I guess, solid visuals. It's a lot of dark oak. I'm going to be very low. And then I guess we'll just go up. Do I have... Don't have anything to block the spawns with this except for slabs right now, but that's fine. We'll just do that. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to need that when that's all together. Yeah, it's really distracting here seeing the villagers panic. I'm not convinced that we have to go straight up with that either. We we could we could also step it in somehow. which could be cool. Should have enough to do the other one.
I'm not sure if that's in yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely inside. Okay. Yeah, I mean the good news is we can always take it out and see what it looks like and put it back. It's not the glass would be a real pain. That's the only thing. The, putting the glass back would would take well, putting the glass back wouldn't take very long. Taking the glass out would take a while. Helpful scaffolding. So helpful. I shouldn't have done that. Should have known better. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. Oh, man, I missed one. I think we fixed the uh, farm as far as I can tell. Yeah, I can hear the dropper going. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We really wouldn't have to adjust much. I think I just have to move the door like over to there. Probably into something like this space here. I don't know. Maybe we don't do that at all. Maybe we, maybe we get access to the farm inside. Like maybe instead of this staircase, maybe we do, maybe we connect the rooms up so that you can go back and forth. I know like down here, I connected the bottom here. So it's like you can get down here and go through 208th iron farm. So like it is accessible. Maybe I could have a little bit more of a formal decorated way of getting through that way. Go behind this wall and come up on a platform here. Yeah, I mean, like, this is okay. There's nothing special about that. Yeah, I think I do like the ones at the back. There is lots of possibilities. I agree, Sandy. I quite like this, though. I think it's looking pretty good. I think that's pretty cool looking. It's uh, similar to what we had before, which I think is still... There's a look at what I had before. That's the old, old farm from 1.12. And that was in the process of retrofitting and taking it down. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I like the lava in there. I don't know about those little windows. Maybe I can work out a way to have more more vents. Like it was it's too bad we can't do like little little windows up through here. That would be cool. Maybe I can change it to a different kind of trapdoor. I like the depth, but then also sometimes I want that lava to come out farther. And I just realized that, yeah, it's asymmetrical there. I like the pipes though. Pipes are fun. 
That's a that's a big old pipe. We've still got some trapdoors and stuff to figure out. I've also got some oxidation that's happening that I might want to fix. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. We're obviously going to include some lights up in here as well. And that's why I think I might change to green glass above this break. And that way we'll tie that into this design here. And then I can have some of these azalea bushes and stuff kind of draping over the side there and making it look cool. I don't know what we're going to be doing on the inside there. Like I don't want to have magma going all the way up. I want to have something. Maybe that's where the honey blocks will go. Anyway, uh, I am going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Looks like... Impulse is live and working on some building details. So that's really fun. So we will pass everybody along to Impulse SV. Uh, and uh, I will see you back here tomorrow. That's Thursday for another stream from the Citadel server. We'll be working on this iron farm again. Uh, that's one o'clock Atlantic UTC minus four hours. Check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you'd like to support the stream. It is uh, the easiest way to support your favorite creators. It's less than a cup of coffee a month. Less, uh, it's like two bucks and it does a great deal to help me continue to stream. Thanks very much for the subs today, for the bits. I really appreciate it. Check out the Spawn Chunks podcast wherever you're listening to your favorite podcasts. Also, there's a brand new episode of the Citadel Cafe that's out right now, and that is available on all of your favorite podcasting apps, and that is where Stephen ESC, who plays on the server with me, uh, and I talked about Deadpool and Wolverine. So spoilers, because we talked about the whole movie, and also language warning because it's Deadpool and Wolverine. And so if you have small ears or if you are near someone with small ears, just keep that in mind. The Spawn Chunks is family friendly. The Citadel Cafe is not uh, because I'm an adult. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks ever so much. Bye for now.